your people. So I thought I'd do a Seeds of Truth video as I haven't done one for ages. Um, and I thought this one is uh, relevant and good timing. So um, the basic premise of the Seeds of Truth is reading the Bible esoterically rather than literally. And if you look at this here, as someone else has said, as someone who has attended church since before I could walk in a family comprised entirely of devout Christians and having read the Bible cover to cover, it has become increasingly clear to me that these holy scriptures were meant to be taken symbolically, not literally or historically. So the topic I want to talk about uh, in this video is uh, the Israelites and Israel and the esoteric meaning of this within the Bible. So uh, as you can see here, the Israelites are the physical descendants of Abraham through Isaac and Jacob, Jacob. God changed Jacob's name to Israel in Genesis. From then on, his sons and other descendants were called sons of Israel or Israelites. And as you can see here, the word Israelite is often used synonymously with the terms Hebrew and Jew. There are some technical differences separating these words, but the most part, such as interchanging of terms, is acceptable. We sometimes refer to the Israelites or Jews as God's chosen people. Now, this has nothing to do with being born into a religion. This is a spiritual transformation. And as you can see here, it says, but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, not literally. So where does the word Jew come from? So if we look here, the term Jew is derived from the name of Jacob's fourth son, Judah, Yehuda, in the Hebrew. So Jacob, in the Bible, fought with an angel which was of God. So Jacob fought with God. And when he had finished fighting with God, he was named Israel, for he saw God face to face, and he named this place pineal, like the pineal gland in the brain, or the third eye. And this is why the spine is known as Jacob's ladder. And Israel comes from Isis, Ra, El, Elohim, electricity, and the esoteric meaning of Egypt in the Bible is the lower self, and the esoteric meaning of Israel in the Bible is the higher self. That is why the song sings, Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt land, tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. Egypt is the lower self. Israel Elohim is the higher self. And that is why the Pharaoh holds twin opposites, shepherd's staff of mercy and the flail or whip of severity, imbalance, both are used to subdue animals. Here symbolize mastery over one's lower animal nature, the carnal mind. This represents balance, like the middle pillar, like the Christ and the two prisoners like the yin and the yang. So the question remains, are you 
one of God's chosen people. Peace. Wake up, wake up, you are divine, got the whole of the universe inside, wake up.